Hey, what another great week here at Kestrel Staff. I just want to say thank you so much for your hard work. Hopefully it's a Friday afternoon when I'm filming this, and uh, hopefully we can get home safely and enjoy our holiday party this afternoon. Um, special thanks to all those on the social committee who made this happen, and Miss Golf for um, getting this arranged for you all. I, you all certainly deserve that and much, much more. So I just want to say um, enjoy your holiday, uh, not even holiday weekend, but enjoy your uh, holiday party. Enjoy your weekend. Please be safe with the weather. I just wanted to just talk about this week and say what a great week we had. You know, um, I talked about it in the parent message and just said, you know, there's some exciting things that that vision of the ACE is starting to really come through when we really talk about the academics, culture and enrichment. Um, you know, starting last weekend with our dance company and our uh, ambassadors at, at Barnes and Nobles who really helped um, put cash in the community and also raise some funds for a parent teachers student association. The holiday concert, again, let me just say this, um, if you've never had to really put on a holiday concert for elementary age kids, you may not understand the tremendous amount of work it takes to do that. Uh, to get the level of coordination together for the number of students that were in the show, kudos to Ms. Daw and Ms. Harrison, but also all the specialists who really pulled together. I saw Ms. Altman helping out. I saw um, everybody really working hard this year and also the teachers great job being there I know it was a long day so I really appreciate you all doing what you need to do to be here also I want to give a shout out to our counselors this week they had the uh, eighth grade high school uh, coordination meeting um, and I thought it was really great again reaching out to our parents making sure that they feel part of the community and that we're here to help and support them um, and I also just want to talk real quick about Ms. Johnston, J Johnston and Ms. Higdon. I saw some really great academic things this week. Last week, I talked about um, Coach Hess and his work. But uh, this week, I wanted to just highlight Ms. Johnston and Ms. Higdon, um, both doing uh, interactive instructional activities with her students. Ms. Higdon had um, manipulatives during the math block, and Ms. Johnston had her students moving throughout the hallway to answer questions. Great, great um, things that I saw. I highlighted both of those uh, individuals also in my parent message as well. I uh, just want a quick reminder, I know Ms. Buckholz has sent this out, but remember you're going to get a paycheck very soon, but then you go about six weeks without getting paid. Every year, somebody or a few of us run into some financial problem, particularly around that 20th of January. Um, and I just, I, I just feel horrible about it, but that's just our pay cycle, and that's what uh, our board has done and our staff have liked. Um, but please, 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 and we're all adults, but I'm just saying please, um, be mindful of that so that, you know, you can enjoy your holidays, but also after the holidays, you can um, sustain in the month of January. So um, enjoy that. And, uh, but uh, I just want to always remind you that Ms. Buckholz, I'm sure, will send something else out about that again. Uh, real quick, December 12th, um, is that Tuesday of next week, we're going to have our um, audit. We had to do as a part of the state board's response to our graduation issue. We had to have an internal audit. Maybe some of you are part of that or not. Um, but we are going to present to them on Tuesday morning um, the findings of our audit. First and foremost, our audits had no significant findings, a few minor things that we're already in the process of changing. But I'm really excited to talk about the great things that are going on. We talked about the ACE and as far as already things that happened this week. And so I'm really excited to have the opportunity to go to the state and really talk to them about what the great things are going on at Kestro. You know, the last year or so, all we've talked about the things that haven't gone well. It's starting time to have that conversation where we talk about the great things that each and every one of you are doing every day to help our kids move forward. So I'm looking forward to that. All right. And so, um, you know, I, as I asked at the end of my videos, usually I say, hey, send me some questions and um, or comments or things you wanted to know. Um, and someone asked me about, you know, what is it that you feel is important around education? We don't really even know. Like we talk about the A's, we talk about other things, but what is your kind of personal beliefs. And I said, well, you know, that's a good point. I haven't really shared that too much. And um, so I was going to take a minute or so today and just really just share kind of one of, to me, one of the most fundamental pieces to me that um, we as educators must have. And that's love. I mean, we don't talk about it off. It's not a something you can see on a evaluation or data. But the reality is, if your students know that you love them, they will do the best they can for you. And the reality is, the parents will love and respect you if you show love for their kid. Every parent wants their kid to be successful. Every parent wants their kid's teacher to love them and try to push them to their furthest. And I think one of the most important things, and I think the fundamental thing you need to start when you come in the field of education is love. Love of the kids, love that, you know, even those kids that um, are difficult. My dad used to tell me this when I would be a little rap scallion and get in trouble, but uh, he used to tell me all the time, he'd say, you know, son, <laughs> 
I don't like you right now, but I love you. And I think sometimes education, we, we have to understand that in the sense that, you know, sometimes our students do things that we just don't necessarily like, but the reality is it's fundamental that you love them and want what's best for them. And if you start there and that's where you build as an educator, you know, I think you're you're great for this profession, that you got to love each and every one of those kids that are in your room and in this building. And I see that replicated throughout the day. But that, you know, someone's asking, I'm not saying that that's lacking here at all. I don't think that that's the case. But someone's asking, what do I think? It's love. It starts with love. I think it's also the love of learning. Love of learning as far as helping others learn to love, I mean, to learn, learn but also you loving um, to, to learn and grow as a professional as well. And so to me, in the field of education, it's fundamental that you have love. Um, and I hope you love what you do. I hope you love the kids that you work with. It's not always great. But I think it's important that we show each and every day how much we love our kids, how much we love this profession, and how much we love Kestrel. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Get home safely, and we'll see you here next week.